Hi, I'm Richard Vince and I'm here at the Quan British Open and speaking to Richard Todd. Richard, I saw something really good today, um, a kids tag team match. And I understand that you're the person who, uh, who thought of the idea. Can you tell me something about it? Yeah, basically what it is, it's a bit, it's a bit of fun for the kids and to give the kids a bit something back in the sport really. Um, we, put it, we made it free for them to enter. We put a cash prize of £60 and it, it's a bit of fun for them. It's the tag in, tag out and it's constantly fast flow. Um, so everyone gets involved and it's, it's a fantastic spectacle. Yeah. yeah, it really was good. Really, really good to watch. And I loved the way that, um, that they used the tag as almost another way of scoring points. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is, it is a tactical battle and it's the team that uses the tag to its advantage. I mean, what, what happens is when a, when a team member tags, the fighter that he tags becomes active. So if you tag blind and your opponent's in front of you, then the other fighter can attack from the side. And that is the whole perspective of it. It's a bit tactical. It keeps on going flowing. So you've got to, got to be aware, got to be switched on all the time. Yeah, I checked that out with one of the refs and um, he's, he explained to me that when you tag, at the moment you tag, you're both live. So the, the guy who, who's tagging out and the one who's tagging in, the only one can attack, but the other guy, your opponent, can attack either of you. That, that is the advantage, but as a fighter, if you, if you do not spot the blind tag, you're going to get hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're very clever, you look for the tag, you're constantly looking at the fighter, looking for the tag. And then once you tag, you, you tap whoever's first, whoever's switched off, whoever's... Like, if the fighter's reacting, retracting, then you attack that fighter. Yeah. And you will get the point, you will get the advantage of the score. So, yeah, it's brilliant stuff. Yeah, I think it's really good because it's going to add another dimension to team fighting, Definitely. isn't it? Yeah, and, and it's always great to add something. Yeah, it is. I mean, pushing it forward, so hopefully we want to push it towards the adults as well because... Yeah then it becomes, you get the more flashy techniques. I mean, if you saw the kids out there that was really enjoying it, um, you, they do the flashy techniques depending on their style. And um, it was fantastic, fantastic. So I hope to see more of the same, really. So what, what um, provoked you to think of it? How did, how did you think of it? Was it something you saw and then you it's adjusted? Or? It's something I saw. Usually you have a two-man two tag, um, but it can be quite static, especially like the keep it for short periods. So we thought, for long periods, sorry. So we thought we shorten the time scale, put three in there, so we constantly keep it moving, keep every get everyone involved, and keep everyone tagging really. So yeah, I was thinking, you know, and I was speaking to our cameraman to say that really, it could be any number of people in the tag team, couldn't it? And it's got to be two or more, obviously. Yeah, you could, you could but, basically. But you could have seven or eight yeah, if you, you want could, to. Definitely, definitely, and that makes that makes it all the more tactical, all the more you have to be alert, and it, I think. From a spectator's point of view, it's def definitely the way forward. Definitely. Good. So, tell me a bit about, uh, about, about yourself. You fought in the Quan team today. A brilliant fight. Um, unfortunately, came up against Daz Ellis. A bit of a close fight, but I think he just sneaked twice. it, didn't he? Yeah, he's had, he's had me a few times over the years, to be fair. Um, he's got one over me again today. Um, next time. Next time. But it was a fantastic spectacle. We had uh, Ryan Marlowe put in a fantastic... Yeah, he really tells one. He's only 14. He's only 14 and he fights in the men's and he's um, definitely a prospect for the future. And then uh, after back pegging, we had young Squeak, um, Andy Wood, Andrew Wood, going as the last man. And he just kept that atmosphere going, yeah, close fight, close. closing him down, fantastic. So yeah, definitely, it was um, fantastic. After five fighters, it was down to one point, wasn't it? Down to one point. So, yeah, so that's good. Yeah. I mean, um, we're going to put the highlights of that on the, on the WK website yeah. and uh, we'll have it on MI Action as well, of course. Excellent. So Excellent. tell us a bit more about what you've done in the past. I mean, I've, I've been around quite a bit, um, doing kickboxing for 15 years, started off in semi-contact, went on to full contact, and then came back to semi-contact um, about four years ago now. Um, I've been to the world. I came third in the world championship, WK World Championships last year, um, losing to a Canadian by injury. <laughs> right, but um, yeah, I mean, for, for myself as a fighter, you, you want it all. You want to go out there and you want to win and you want to be the, you want to be the best on the circuit. That's, if that's not your idea, then there's no point to it, really. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, I enjoy it. Enjoy it. Brilliant. Well, thanks for taking the time to, to stop and talk to us today. We really appreciate it. And well done with that tag team. That Thank was you. excellent work. Thank you. Cheers.